Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Today we're going to do a different video, but kind of the same, but kind of different. If you guys don't know who Daisy Maria is, she does this video where it's like reading my subscribers' scary stories. And I was like, hmm, I want to do that. But we're going to do a little twist and read them. <laughs> but I didn't want to do my intro while I was already gone, you know, so like here I am. I'm gonna go outside, take a little walk. It's currently about to be 12 in the morning. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come back in like 30 minutes, but for you guys, it's gonna be a second. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. A little shoulder action. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like I have a big ass head. We're gonna go straight into it because what the fuck? Okay, so get comfy. I'm debating whether I should put scary music in the back or not. I think I am. Okay, let's go on Spotify. Talk to nice. I wait. Oh my god, dude, that shit scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Also, if it looks like that, that's because I cut the shirt. So I found the fucking Spotify playlist. It's royalty free, so if I get the fucking little copyrighted thing, I know who to blame. Should I carry my dog? Is it a vibe if I carry her? Yeah, let's carry my dog. Okay. Are you okay? You could go meanies. She wants a vibe. Hell nah. That's just scary. me. Spotify got some crazy shit. <laughs> Also, this is not sponsored. This is from a random app, actually. Not Spotify. <laughs> Why are you trying to escape from me? I am your mom. Dude, I'm so sorry I look like shit, but, like, I really just want to be, like, real with you. Like, I just want to be comfy and sit down and talk to y'all. <laughs> eh. You just stay there, right? Or no, or no, or no, or no, or no, or no. I'm kind of scared to read them. Why don't you, should, you should put a red light. Okay, we kind of switched up the vibe. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the first story. Here it is. Here goes nothing. I'm so scared. <sighs> no, I'm not fucking scared. But just in case. So this was the scariest shit that has happened. Well, it's a lot of things, to be honest. Well, my old house in LA. Wait. Okay, my sister left to the kitchen. It was a lot of things to be honest. Well, my old house in LA, Huntington Park, it was a haunt. It was haunted. So it so it was always in the back room, going towards the backyard. My uncle used to live there, and my parents said that there was a guy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, but like, that kind of didn't make sense. So like, I don't know if it was me or the paragraph. My parents said that there was a guy that went in my uncle's room and put something, but I don't know what it was. But that room was always the scariest one. We would be at parties and be like, if your door will. One day, me and my sister had the idea to go scare my uncle. So we went in the room, and since we had the washers in the backyard, he went out to wash, and we were in his room waiting for him to come back. And when we were waiting for him to come back, the door that we play, that we would play with to open and close that shit shut on us with power, like... It was no close the door. It was fucking bang. <laughs> Dude, the crazy part is that I fucking understand this. So he was saying that the door that they would play with to open and close the door, it, like it wasn't no little like push, like, oh, I just closed the door. Like it was a boom. Like that shit was forceful. Okay, that's scary. For the people that are not scared, I give you props because if my door just opened, I would dead ass shit it. Like, I yeah. would not move. I would not fucking move, dude. Actually, no. I'll what get up and doing? close it straight up. <laughs> yeah. what you Don't fucking do that, bro. I think I'm tripping. One time, my mom and I were sleeping in her bed, and my older brother had his friend over. <gasps> and they were watching TV on the couch. While they were chilling, my brother and his friend heard a loud ass bang. 
that came from the hallway, aka where my mom's room was at. He ran to her room and came in yelling, asking if we were okay, and checked to see who was in the house. My mom and I were still knocked out, just dead asleep, and no one was there. My brother and his homie were tripping because they heard a loud ass bang and wondered how we didn't get woken up by it. Hello, nothing crazy, it's pretty weird. Oh, but shit like that, like shit that you can't explain, that's still scary as fuck. Well, I don't know if it's scary, but it's very vivid memory. I remember my, I remember when my cousins and I were younger that we were in the backyard of my abuelita's house. <laughs> I remember when my cousins and I were younger, we would be in the backyard of my abuelita's house and there would be like a black bear. It didn't bother us. We were, and we weren't bothering it. It was just there. I don't know what happened after that, but my mom says it was a dream. What the fuck? And me and my brother both hella remember it and i don't think we could have the same exact dream but yeah more weird than scary i don't know why the fuck my eyes got watery something. my eyes got hella watery thank you a banana taco yeah not me telling a story after every story this is weird as fuck because i remember when i was little i like dead ass remember this in my head like i remember shit from when i was small like when i was like two years old early like two years old like i remember stuff from like two when i talk about these memories like that involve people with those people like it's accurate you know like they're like yeah that happened so it's not like i'm remembering like made up shit okay, so i have this memory where i literally saw a fucking snake on a tree in my yard while like i literally went outside to play and shit and i saw a snake on the tree like that shit dead ass like scared me like it was slithering on the branch and i fucking ran inside My nephew just coughed. And I fucking ran inside and I told my mom, like, una culebra, una culebra, ma. And dude, we went outside. She literally brought the fucking broom. And we, when we went outside, the, the shit that I saw was literally a stick. Like, a stick. Just a fucking stick. Yeah, so that's scary. Okay. Okay, so when I was about eight months, my mom told me that while she was sleeping, she heard a big bang on the floor. Dude, what the fuck? Like, y'all literally using the same words. It's fucking crazy. Big bang. On the floor. And she woke up and I was next to her. I slept in the bed with... Wait. I slept in a bed with her, not a crib. She found me on the floor with a blanket wrapped me. With a blanket wrapped around. I'm pretty sure she meant around me. Either you're talking super loud, dude. She found me on the floor with a blanket wrapped perfectly around me. And she took me to my grandma the next day. Turns out she could sense bad energy and said a witch tried to take me because i wasn't baptized <gasps> the woman was too stunned to speak so bestie when i was a little girl me and my family moved a lot because of problems we had finally but we finally stayed with our aunt for a little bit for a little the fuck i'm like adding words and shit <laughs> we finally stayed at my aunt for a little in her living room and swear are you watching a movie yeah a little in her living room and swear to you that one night i woke up because i needed to use the bathroom and i wake up and all i see is duendes no fucking way shut the front door i swear shut the fuck up. I got you. all i see is duendes like scary ones just walking around some even on the roof i was scared as fuck i didn't want to move so much but my brother was next to me and I tried my hardest to wake him up and he turns his head towards me and he's still asleep. But all I see behind his head was a little scary elf just staring at us. I was staring at me. I covered myself with a blanket and tried to go back to sleep. But I would feel like movement around my leg area and I just bought my legs up and forced myself to knock the fuck back out. Hello, yeah, the next morning I had a, I had wet the bed. I was like eight or seven. Dude, wait, but love that. you i love you too let's, let's talk, talk about, about that. that i mean dude doing this fuck no fuck no dude tell me why the fuck tell me why the fuck oh my god and i'm eating sweet stuff <laughs> is that bad no but they like sweet stuff so i heard there's a lot in mexico like most of the stories that i've heard talking about duendes is in mexico my dad said he saw one in Mexico. But then again, I don't know. Maybe he was just... I don't know. Sometimes I don't be believing my dad. <laughs> but yeah, I've always been scared of them. I never want to see one in my life. 
um i heard they appear when you talk about them so let me shut the fuck up let me just move on my mom worked at an elementary school and i would always stay with her until the kids and to all the kids and some teachers were gone while i was walking down an empty hallway and there was polaroids that would stick out from the walls and there was this clear shadow of a man that stood up on one of the pillars as a little girl i didn't think much of it so when i kept getting closer to it it just slowly disappeared to this day i don't know what it was because there was no one around me so i heard when you see shadows i mean you know what sometimes you know like it could mean two things it could mean a lot of things let's be honest it could mean it could mean a lot of things i heard that when it's a shadow you could see like paranormally paranormally i heard when it's a shadow you could see that's um that's like a stronger energy and those are the ones that like touch you like physically like fuck around with you you know like physically want to like bug you and shit so that's like a stronger energy i don't know correct me if i'm fucking wrong but that's what i heard so this one time my god sister and my brother were home alone together why do i fucking read it like that like i don't pause but then i'm reading it like this and like there's no commas maybe because there's no commas but then again what the fuck am i a fucking english teacher my brother were home alone together and my brother had barely just got home and he said who's home with you and she said nobody and before he said who's home with you he heard someone walk from my walk away from my room to my parents room basically across the hallway like a little kid's footstep and one time i saw a little boy in the corner of my eye when i was doing laundry at home and no one was downstairs with me that's fucking scary no because no because the way i feel about little kids shadows is different than what i would feel like of a black shadow i feel like if i see a little kid they're more like playful and shit you know i mean it's a little kid it's a little kid because a shadow what the fuck you don't know what the fuck is a shadow you don't know what the fuck shadow you don't know who the shadow belongs to is what i'm trying to say so if i see a little kid i'll still be scared but it'll be like oh i saw a little kid you know they probably just want to play <laughs> me trying to debunk it on oh, him so i was 15 15 <laughs> so i was 15 at the time this story took place in michoacan mexico <laughs> took place in michoacan mexico i was walking at night in a pueblo a guy walked past me i didn't think nothing of it i was drunk and when i looked back his feet were backwards and his eyes were red <laughs> I'm a very good visualizer, you know? So when like people tell me stories and I'm kind of like stuck, or not really stuck, just really paying attention, I'm really imagining that shit. This shit just fucking scared me. It gave me chills. And his eyes were red. This wasn't a dream or nothing. I started praying, then he got mad. And after I was done with my prayer, he disappeared. I got home a little while after, but as soon as I thought that was it, I went to the restroom, turned on the lights, Oh my god. Okay, I, I went to the restroom, turned on the light. There he was. I don't know. I don't want to like say this word because I feel like I'm going to get demonetized. He. I'm going to just word it. In the shower, my parents think I'm crazy because they couldn't see him. They couldn't see him there. I was the only one. Oh my god. Dude, what the but that's like hell that's like next level type shit don't see anything scary no more bro what the fuck this is what this video is about i feel like when t dude why does it look like i have a big ass head like it looks like i'm fucking like what it looks like it's floating do i just have a big head okay so there's this one time my sister was the only one awake it was in 2018 when my when me and my family lived in the trailer park my sister took a picture for her for her streaks and there was a demon figure looking in the window it had horns it had oh, it had horns and very sharp teeth and it it was lined around 12. it was lined it was lined around 12. um and then oh it was like around oh it was like it was like around 12 in the night and i have a picture too kind of want to ask for the picture is it okay if we see the picture it's okay if not Deez. okay now we wait but meanwhile we're gonna read another story 
When I was little, my parents would have a church person come bless the house every month, and I would, and I always wondered why. And they told me that when I was younger, like five, I wouldn't fall asleep. I would just watch the TV, and then I'd wake up and would walk around the living room, and they woke up to me crying, and they said I would say Chucky was was behind the couch, and they would take me near it, and I would start screaming. They had got an old baby cam and put it to the spot where I said Chucky was that. They, they brought a fucking camera and pointed at the spot where he said Chucky. Um, and they saw a little... Oh my god, bro. Why is it always elf? They saw a little elf looking thing and it would go all on floors. And then it would just... It was just on two legs and I started crying and they got up and checked the camera. And that night, he had to spend the night at my aunt's while a priest blessed the house. It was a scary experience for my parents. But I love you, girly. Keep being you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you more. I, I believe in a lot of shit, you know? And like when people say stories like this, I'm not like, hey, they're lying. They're lying. Like, or even if you guys are lying, I would be fucking sad. But like, I just believe that this world is not like, like just us. Like, there's definitely way more to like a tree. What the fuck am I saying? I don't know what the fuck I just said. So, when my little brother was three, we noticed some weird things. There were times when we served him a cup of milk and he would always ask for another cup to be served and we told him to finish the one he had but he pointed out to an empty chair. There were also times where he would, where he went into the fridge and served himself and also another cup. We kept on ignoring this until my uncle came to stay with us for a while and he said he heard things. He was upstairs. Then one night he woke my mom up and said that his door was shut and the TV was turned on and my mom didn't believe him so he told her to come upstairs and sleep with him he is gay and they're particularly siblings oh hush the fact that she has to like disclaim that y'all better not be thinking the fucking wrong thing <clears throat> i paid attention when she said that was her brother and my mom saw the tv turn off and the door shut by itself again really after that he started hearing a ball bounce all 11 steps i remember counting the steps and when i heard the noise i also counted the bounces and there was a giggle of a girl after a ball got downstairs So it's definitely uh, me trying to debunk this shit. So it's definitely a kid, like a, a little kid spirit, I want to call it. A little kid spirit. Because if your little brother was like the one communicating, not communicating, but you know, like, oh, like for my friend, for this person, it was definitely a little kid. And you know how they say like, oh, usually when you're smaller, you see things like you, you could see spirits and stuff. Um... And then you said that you heard a giggle. You heard a giggle and then a ball go down the stairs. So, like, definitely a little kid spirit. Like, they're just trying to play. Mm -hmm. Dude, also, don't believe everything I say. I just watch a lot of videos, like, that have to do with stuff like that. If it's not true, it's not true. I just, like, that's what I heard. I was around six or seven. I was making lunch for, my, for school the next day. And I'm just making my sandwich. In the corner of my eye, I see a woman who's dressed in a dress from the 1800s. But I couldn't see her face. She was too tall. So I was pretending she wasn't there. And then I checked again. And she was bent over so I could see her face. And when I saw her face, I was so scared. She looked like Freddy Krueger. Krueger. She looked like Freddy Krueger. But worse, I ran to my room. I haven't seen her ever since. And the next day from when I saw the woman, I got home from school. I'm on my phone and I'm about to use the restroom. Then I see two twin girls run from my grandma's room to the kitchen. Then weeks later, I was watching TV. Then I saw a man's leg outside my door. So at first, at first I thought it was my mom's husband. And then I remembered I had been home alone. Everyone was at the party, um, at a party, and I was home alone. So I said out loud, "I'm going to sleep." So I put my blankets over me. And after 30 minutes, I peeked out my window. It was gone. I think it was a whole family. That's fucking crazy. The fact that she really be happening. Dude, that, that's that's the crazy part. Dude, look at the candles right now. Oh, you, did you see? The flame was like straight up. It was just like... You think it was a whole family? Probably. I mean, you saw a lady. You saw two kids. Two twin girls. Oh, my God. My sister's meditating and she put her music on and that shit got me scared. I saw your TikTok and this is my story. Yeah. <sniffs>
I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tú se escucha mal, pero descansa el animal. Pero descansa el animal. I'm a party animal. Can't take me nowhere. Okay. When I used to stay with my grandparents, I came back from a walk at 3 a.m. and I said, and I saw a black cat and I heard a little kid screaming for help. And I saw someone standing in the light, in the light that's the, the corner. And then I heard cats fighting. <laughs> that should sound like a regular day in South Central. Like I was outside. Like I literally went outside because I didn't want my room to smell. I went outside, I swear. I fucking saw a cat walk. Huh? See what happened. Because I don't want them to think I'm making it up. So I don't even know what she said. <laughs> okay, so my tío asked his mom to go to a party, but she said no. Um, no, she said no. Then he snuck out to the party. He had no right home when people were leaving, so he decided to walk home. He was, and so he walked through the cemetery. He swore he saw and heard things like run by him. He turned around and he said it was a big donkey with a tongue. With the tongue to the floor, bright as eyes and red as tongue. What the fuck? A big donkey with the tongue to the floor, bright as eyes and red as tongue. That's scary. It's like if he ate something. Now he's dead, but he told me to never walk through a cemetery at night. <gasps> oh, Wait, what do you mean now he's dead? Like he died? Like, or like that happened and then he, like because of that. Like, you get what I'm saying? One time... While I was in Mexico, I was at my grandparents, and we were in Guadalajara. We were in Guadalajara. We were in Guadalajara. We were in Guadalajara. It was around ten. There was still a party going on, but my mom said to go to sleep. Um, so me and my cousins went to the room, just us two, where we were watching television. We both fell asleep. We woke up to the TV making noise, but some but weird noise, and then we start to hear screaming outside. There was this window in the room. You could see shadows, but at this time, it was at least two or three in the morning. Hey, buddy, I left. Huh? Or like, did she, <laughs> did she mean like, hey, buddy, I left. And we just heard something screaming. I woke up my cousin to tell her what was happening and she got scared. We didn't want to wake up my parents or cousins or siblings because we thought we would get in trouble. My cousin was a bit older than me. She said, maybe it's our minds and that we should go to sleep. I woke up an hour later and the screaming was closer and I was shitting bricks. That's when I was panicking. Next time I couldn't get up. We went to my mom's room. My mom said, you guys are going to be okay. They said they just checked it, but to this day I never slept in that room again. And that room was my grandma's room who had passed a few years away, who had passed away a few years ago to a heart attack. So who knows if it was her or some spirit. I feel like it has a lot to do with Jesus what... is with me for real. So maybe it was your grandma. Maybe it was your grandma and like but stuff like that usually doesn't happen. So like you were just like ah like fuck it's probably something bad. I feel like if the energy is not that strong, like if like she felt like oh it was probably our minds. Like I feel like the energy wasn't that strong to to like you guys be like fuck like I can't go back in there like hell no. So like maybe it was your grandma. <clears throat> hell no to the no 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 hell to the no don't think that everything i'm saying is true okay I i'm just saying like i'm telling you but I, I don't know though you have you seen that meme where it's like you give you like the person the answer but like you say i don't know though because you don't know if it's fucking right or wrong do y'all know what the fuck i'm saying I have so many stories miss girl but i'll at least give you one it all started when i was little i would sleepwalk a lot and i started realizing that I would see things other people can't. It came to one day I, where I had sleep paralysis that everything changed. I constantly hear and see things now. Vibes are really important to me. I have visions of things too. I have visions of duendes taking my family, friends, daughter later on to find out that they think their new house has duendes. I don't know if you guys like the. F you see how. There's so much stories with them. You should really make a video about all that stuff. Where the Talk fuck is Molly? Friends. Dude, what the fuck? Molly's next to me. Shut week. the fuck up! Shh, Catherine. <laughs> what the fuck? I got so scared. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Valerie, you're over here telling me to be quiet so we won't wake up my mom and dad. You're over here screaming at me, you fucking whore. Wait, Valerie, can you like shut the fuck up? Like pause the music type no, shit? She said that her sleep, like ever since she had sleep paralysis, everything changed. I had sleep paralysis one fucking time. One time. 
like I haven't gotten it again right and like I was talking to this lady and she told me that I had a spiritual awakening when I was small so like what is conspiracy theory <laughs> Valerie what the fuck is wrong I'm smiling right now but I'm hella fucking scared like I said it was a duende but it was literally my Kobe high dude I don't think I'm high anymore me either Oh, I'm not gonna get to fucking read all of them because it's a lot. So I was saying, damn, better my fucking heart hurts. That scared me so bad. That just scared me. Know. Like, if you really want to say something, I feel like you could say something. Like, I feel like you could really, like, let yourself, like, like you gotta believe that shit, you know? Like, not trick your mind into, like, seeing things. Just, like, believing it. Like, believing in it. And then, like, seeing it. I don't want to see it. I don't know who the fuck listening, but I don't want to see nothing. Vibes are really important to me. Vibes, dude, I feel like I could sense vibes too. Like if I'm scared, if I'm really scared, I feel like that, that, I don't know, the energy, I feel like that's what it is. Like I feel like I could feel it. Like it's not necessarily a vibe, but like an energy, you know, because then I start feeling scared. And it's not because the vibe is scary. It's like the energy that's like, oh, I feel it like different than like what it should be, you know? So then I'm just like, but you know, like in those moments when you're scared and you don't want to show it. It's like that, like I'll fucking like sense it and then it's like, oh, hell no. Hell no. To the no, no, no. I just be like vibing still, like acting like it's not there, you know? Because I feel like the more you feed into it, oh, that's when they fuck you up. That's when they try to like, it's like throwing more bread to fucking pigeons. They gonna keep eating. They gonna eat. So, like, you can't really feed into it, you know? Like, I would see videos, and, like, I will notice that when they'll get more hyped and shit, like, usually the machines would go off and stuff because, like, you're feeding into that energy, you know? Dude, honestly, I'm not a fucking expert, but I sure sound like one, huh? <laughs> no, because what the fuck? I'm editing my video. <laughs> I hope y'all are understanding what I'm saying, and if there's any experts out there, or, like, if y'all know something, let me know if I'm wrong or not. Okay, don't be shy. Tell me. Buzzfeed, where you at? Hi, Lisa. I have paranormal activity to share. Yeah. Even the words, like, even the words are kind of hard to, like, say. Like, I just want to be like, because I don't want to say them out loud. Um, when I was a little girl in my previous home, I was really attached to my basement. Weird, I know, but hold on. I found it super comforting and then would go there alone. I would even hide in there from my mom when she was mad at me, lol. It was a scary basement now that I look back at it. Full of cobwebs and the lights didn't work cold. There was a dark room at the deep end of the basement. However, I was never scared of this basement and even felt some sort of peaceful connection to it. I have good memories from being alone in that basement. And I brought it up to my brother a while ago. He mentioned it to me that he hated that basement. And that he even said that he vividly remembers often seeing a little girl with gray skin and black matted hair in the dark room of the basement. It's strange to me that we both have the different spiritual experiences with that part of our childhood home. That's so crazy. Wait, let me analyze. Read in between the story. Um... My brother is your brother older than you maybe like how older or like i don't know because then you know like connecting all the stories like it's usually when you're little like it's just like easier to like connect with you maybe like a little girl maybe that's why you didn't feel scared the shit that i say is like from videos that i watch okay like from people that like you know like soft shit like this like i just pick up shit okay that's what i'm telling you that's what i'm trying to say because i don't know though uh, okay, so in high school, there was this one group of friends, and they were messing around with the Ouija board one night. They had done it before, and nothing remarkable had ever happened, but they usually did it to try to scare each other, or the boys would try to scare their girlfriends. They all thought it was a joke. That night, there was no one else home except the seven of them, and they were all together around the board. One of the girls wanted to try it. She had never done it before. This time was different. The board <coughs> missed... The board misspelled some of the words the, the same way every time. It gave answers that seemed really historically accurate in our, for our town. Things we never knew or cared about. Long story story, the spirit, the spirit claimed it was a 10 year old boy who had died on the property in the 1800s and was buried there to an unmarked grave. 
One of our friends' house on, was on a farm at the edge of town. They were all a little freaked out because the board never had been so detailed and consistent. However, they were still skeptical and they were all assuming one of them was trying to scare the rest. Girl, the way you're fucking writing, like, do you, are you like an English major? Like, it's so like perfect. However, they were skeptical. Do the words skeptical, consistent, detailed? Like, what? I would have been like, I was scared of shit because this happened. <laughs> Finally, one of my friends asked if the spirit could do something to prove to prove he was there with him. It went to yes and then spelled out K-N-O-C-K. Knock. Then, the planchette, the planchette, the planchetti, the planchette, I don't know, stopped moving. They all stared at it silently and there was a rap, 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 oh, rap, 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 maybe like a scratch, on the window right next to them. The lights were on outside. There was absolutely no one out there. They couldn't. They never touched what they called the fuck. Oh my god, I don't even want to say it. Okay, they called it that board again. Um, and the group of friends never talked to each other again. Dude, literally, no one will ever peer pressure me into doing that shit because, like, that's like something else. Like, that's not you trying to find something. Like, I feel like if you try to find something, like, you'll find something. That's the type of shit I don't fuck with, like. I'ma just believe it from afar, you know? Like, I feel like there's just something else out there, but, like, I'm not gonna mess with it. this one. Okay, girl, this is my scary story. When I was 16, I was diagnosed with bone marrow with bone marrow failure. I had to be in one of, and I had to be in the hospital for months. I swear I was losing my mind. My anxiety was so high, and I was having panic attacks almost every day. Oh, my God. I hope it's better now. Like, you said I was, so, like, I'm guessing, like, you're better. I would never sleep. Also, sleeping at the hospital is so is scary, okay? Anytime I would sleep, I would have nightmares. So, my dad had brought me a rosary that my abuela got from Mexico because she said I needed protection. My mom would also tell me that demons were, uh, that demons were able to get to you when you're most vulnerable and weak. That part, that part. And dude, it's crazy how like they literally could get you through your anxiety. If they could even get to you through through stress. Wait, what the fuck? Did my camera like fuck up right now? Dude, why does my hand look glitchy? Oh, I'm tripping. Well, one night I was so tired that I was at, I was actually able to sleep. I dreamt that I was in my childhood home and I was little again. I was playing with an old toy phone and I was watching my mom wash the dishes. The toy phone started ringing, so I answered it as I heard a hello and a demonic voice answered and said my name. I was so scared, it felt like it was crawling out the phone to get me. I woke up in the hospital, ooh, my back is hurting. I woke up in the hospital screaming, I hope, I woke up in the hospital, I woke up in the hospital screaming. My nurse ran in thinking something was wrong with me, but I had to tell her I had a nightmare. I was so embarrassed, nothing happened after that until I was discharged and able to come home. I was still very sick and had to stay in my room alone because I had no immune system, so I couldn't be around anyone. A few nights after being home, I had another nightmare, but this time it was more like sleep paralysis. I looked down and I could see myself sleeping in my bed, like if I was floating on the ceiling of the room, and I saw it, a dark smiley demon creature that began to crawl up the side of my bed, and when I was back in my bed, I couldn't move. I could see and feel the breath of a thing on the side of my face i couldn't move or scream or anything it got closer and whispered in my ear did you miss me oh my god at that moment i was screaming in my head god please help me from this thing away from this thing and i was finally able to move again my whole life i've had weird things um like this happen to me and i get sleep paralysis pretty often so it's nothing new to me but i never had something say my name or remember me I don't know if I was if it was really a demon trying to get to me or my mental health was so bad. I was completely losing it. Either way, I'm still scared every night before I go to sleep. Sorry it's so long. Girl, it's okay. Also, oh my god. It's just crazy. Like it's just crazy how like different it's just crazy how things like try to communicate with you in different ways. Like you said that you were that you had sleep paralysis, you know. And it was like when you were sleeping, yeah, like what you said, like they try to get to you when they're most when you're most vulnerable, and like, uh, like that's just so scary. That's just so. Oh my god, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Ah, no, I'm not. Okay, that's all the stories I'm gonna read.
it fucking wore off a long time ago. My phone ran out of storage while I was trying to record this. So, like, I had to delete it. And meanwhile, that happened. Like, while I was doing that, it wore off. We'll do a part two, okay? I promise you I'm going to do better. I love <laughs> Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't. All right? Also, let me know what other type of videos you guys want to see. I'm not always going to be, like, in my videos because, like, you know? I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Love you so much. <laughs>